Hey, what's up, Daywalkers and fellow Travelers of the Night and fellow Mutants? I want to take another look at this Wolverine card because there is something very different about it that I didn't notice when I was unpacking this. And some of you did, I think. And so I had some people write me and say, hey, dude, what's up with that card? <laughs> uh, like they wrote me on Instagram and stuff. And then I reached out to a few people and was like, what is up with this card? And it turns out uh, what's up with it is that it's a misprint. This Wolverine card doesn't have any of the text around it. And I can't even believe I didn't notice that at first. Like, look at this Moon Knight card. This is what's supposed to be around it. There's a little border there. They got the Masterpiece XL stamp at the bottom, which this doesn't have. The Moon Knight name. It has the Marvel stamp up here in the corner. Even these have the stamps on them. And the only thing I know that doesn't have stamps, as far as I remember, is that if maybe if you get a sketch card or if you get a printing plate. But this is neither of those either. This is just straight up a Joe Jusco 2016, but painted in 13, Wolverine card. And it's got the standard back to it. There's nothing uh, missing from it. There's no, like, uh, you know, number out of something. It's, it's a base card, but it doesn't have the printing on it with any of the font on the front cover. Even the what ifs have, you know, like a comic title on it and everything. They do like a mock up cover, let's say Incredible Hulk on here, 181. But no, this is just that. It's just the awesome art of Joe Jesco. So I don't know what the value of this thing is, but I do know what I just sold it for. And some people might get mad. <laughs> this is something that Blue took a look at and said, dude, we're throwing this online. And between the two of us, we couldn't find anything else even close to this from this series that was misprinted that we could base a price off of. And it is a very hard card to get normally. This is a level five card from the set, card number 89, which is almost the last card. Spider-Man is card 90. And uh, this is already has a value to it. If this was just a base card with all the regular fixings, probably a hundred to $150 card possibly to, you know, especially to a hardcore Wolverine seller, maybe even more than that. But to get a misprint, we had no idea. So we were looking at the Silver Spectrum ones, the other variant versions. But this technically, as far as we know right now, this is a one of one. This is the only one that we know in circulation or in existence that is, you know, misprinted like this. Uh, and it does have a couple little scuffs on it, but I think that's because whatever presses down to add that text around the edges of the card, it just didn't stay or it didn't have ink on it or something. So there's still a little press marks at certain points of this. There's some flecks of you know, uh, the silver and stuff on his leg there where the name would be, uh, where it would say Wolverine, but nothing like, you know, nothing beyond that. So it's not a perfect card. There's some blemishes if you want to call them that, but also just more things that make it unique. So we decided to sell this. And originally I think blue put it up for a thousand dollars on eBay and it didn't get any traction. Nobody was interested. There was watchers, but nobody, I mean, not watchers, but views, but no watchers. And he was like, well, maybe that's just too high. And he said, what do you think? And I was like, I don't know. Like my gut is telling me 700, but even that feels a little high or it could be low. Some people might be screaming going, dude, you could probably get a couple thousand dollars off that. Yeah, maybe. But I think really because we don't know, and this was just a bonus card, like we, you know, we, we were just buying the pack just to show it off. And we wanted to see what the value of each card was to see if we made our 40 bucks back. But we definitely did because we ended up selling this for $500 to a very hardcore Wolverine fan. It's going to go to a good home. I'm going to package it up, make sure it's sealed and protected as best it can. And we're sending it to Authenticator so they can look at it and verify that it's a misprint. And then they're going to send it off to that person. And I think that was more important to us is that we found someone who just already really appreciates this. And I'm just so glad we posted this. The like Blue posted it earlier in the day. And I'm so glad we did because otherwise I was going to wait till we got home from work from a new job and maybe do it then. And, you know, who knows? It probably would have went to someone else. You know, maybe, who knows? Maybe it would have sold for more too. But at the end, I really just, I always get happy when I find the right person for something we're selling because a lot of these things mean something to me when I sell it or, you know, something to blues that we sell. Uh, but in this case, this didn't really mean much to us. Like we love Wolverine, but we weren't, we're not trying to collect him in the set. We got Moon Knight cards, as you can see. So we're good with this set. You know, we got Werewolf by Night ones coming in. Um, and then also we got Frankenstein's Monster coming in. And we got Blade coming in from our friends over at North of Seven Cards that, you know, Blue's a big fan of. So he bit, you know, bid on a couple cards there. And then a couple people on Whatnot he bid on. So we got more Moon Knight cards coming. So for us, we got the cards we want in this set. It just made sense to find the perfect person to give this to. So I'm glad we're going to do that. So again, like I say, 
everything I open, these packs, you're welcome to reach out to me. You're, you're welcome to offer a trade. If I feel it's a good trade, I'll take you up on it. Uh, but in this, like we still have some bills that we could catch up on, but finally be ahead for once by selling this for $500 too. So we're happy that we found a middle ground with this person who is you know, going to take care of this card from now on and appreciate it and something that we can get out of it that will help us as well. So it was a win-win. And I'm glad when that happens in this, you know, this community is great with stuff like that. A lot of people look out for each other. So I'm glad this is going to new homes. I just wanted to show it off one more time just so people saw it because I will not be in possession of this anymore. And if this was Moon Knight, you bet your bottom, <laughs> we wouldn't sell it. Uh, so that's the other thing is I feel like, and I told this to the guy who was buying it. He's like, why'd you sell this? And I'm like, because like if this was Moon Knight, we wouldn't, that that would be our character. But if someone else out there got Moon Knight, we would hope that they would not be attached to it enough that they would sell it and that if we only could afford a certain amount that they would maybe give us a break and meet us on that even if it was below what they thought they could get and i i think we did the right thing by landing around 500 hopefully that is a value for this if not more i hope this does increase in value for this collector who now owns it i hope this just becomes a big centerpiece for their collection like i hope all good things come from this now that uh, we found someone to sell it to so let me know down below, like, is there anything you've ever run across, a misprint or anything rare that you had to part with? Um, like I said, in this case, we're not attached to this one. We were way more attached to one of the Oscar Isaac autographs that we sold. We would have probably liked to keep that. But this we weren't super attached to. And to find out that it was unique and special is awesome. <laughs> it's like it's uh, it's kind of one of a kind in a way. It's until we see other people talk about this or find one as well. So, yeah. But anyway, let me know down below what you think and, you know, Share your comments on that. We'll keep talking on there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace, bub.